Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says 40 to the power of x minus one equals two to the power of two x plus one. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. For the first step, let's use these notes right here. It says x to the power of a plus b is equal to x to the a times x to the b. And we can use these notes to rewrite both of these. You can think of x minus one as x plus negative one. So this 40 to the x minus one would become 40 to the x times 40 to the negative one. And this two to the power of two x plus one is equal to two to the power of two x times two to the power of one. And we can move these up here. Next, let's copy this down and let's look at this 40 to the negative one. The way a negative exponent works is something like x to the negative one is equal to one over x. So 40 to the negative one would be one over 40. Next, we can focus on this piece right here. It's two to the power of two times x. This is something you can do when you have exponents that are being multiplied. You can rewrite it like this. x to the a times b is equal to x to the a, whole thing to the power of b. So we can rewrite two to the two times x as two to the two, whole thing to the power of x. And this two to the one is equal to two. Let's copy down the whole row again. I'm trying to leave steps for us to look at. Inside parentheses, this two to the second power is equal to four. So we end up with four to the x times two. Right now we have an x on both sides of the equation. We wanna move all the x's to one side. The best way to do that would be to divide both sides by four to the x. On the left-hand side, this gets moved under here and we end up with 40 to the x over four to the x. And then on the right-hand side, this can be brought down here and this four to the x and this four to the x can cancel each other out. So we're left with two. Next, let's get the x's alone. So let's take this one over 40 and move it to the other side. We can do that by multiplying both sides by 40. On the left-hand side, this 40 and this 1 40th will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, two times 40 is 80. So now we have 40 to the x over four to the x equals 80. Let's bring in some more notes. Anytime you have something like a to the x over b to the x, you can rewrite that as a over b, the whole thing to the x. So that means if we have 40 to the x over four to the x, we can rewrite that as 40 over four, whole thing to the x. So we can bring this over here and that will also be equal to 80. Inside of the parentheses, 40 over four is equal to 10. And now we have 10 to the X is equal to 80. This looks important, let's put a box around it. So we've taken this thing that we were given and simplified it into this. Let's see what we can do from here. The next notes are how we tie an exponential equation to a logarithmic equation. The base of the exponent is equal to the base of the logarithm. The thing out here goes inside the logarithm and the exponent is what the logarithm is equal to. So if we have something like 10 to the x equals 80, we would write out log. The base of the exponent would be the base of the logarithm. The thing over here is what's put into the log. And then the exponent x is what the log is equal to. So 10 to the x equals 80 is the exact same thing as log base 10 of 80 equals x. And what's cool about log base 10 of 80 equals x is we can plug this into a calculator. By default, calculators, the log button is already a log base 10. So log 10 means the same thing as log. And the reason for that is because we have 10 fingers. Now we can plug this into a calculator. We just hit log 80, and it's gonna give us X is approximately equal to 1.90309, and there's a whole bunch of other decimals. So log 80 would be the exact value of X, and this would be the decimal approximation to five places. And for the fun of it, we can check. If we take this decimal and plug it into the exponent, 10 to this is this right here. And the only reason it's not exactly 80 is because we truncated it right here. If we were to let these decimals go forever, it would end up being exactly 80. So what we got for X checks out with this right here, but we should double check to make sure it checks out with this up here. We plugged in this decimal in the place of X. Each of these can be simplified a little bit. It's 40 to this decimal equals two to this decimal. Now, after we plug this into calculator, we get 27.9772079 equals 27.9772625. And the only reason why there's any difference is because we truncated this decimal. So it checks out. Let's put them in a box. And this is the answer to our question. X is equal to log 80 or X is approximately equal to 1.90309. How exciting.